Hey, to dissect how Rochester has a chance to beat Bruden Parker. We're switching over to the Eastern Conference on match number two of the Zero A stream. Let's get into the let's get into the games. Eastern Conference, here we go. The desk with a sweet prediction of Rochester, but we'll see if Bruden Parker is up to the task. Daz here with Herc Herc. Here we go. Series against these two teams. We'll see what they have to bring to the table. This is a really exciting matchup. Again, it's its first day on stream for everybody. It's it's a good way to start out strong, but a sweep on the desk. It's it cursed teams in our last series. Can it possibly happen again? That's a good question. We'll see how things go as we already get right into this series. Definitely want to see how teams are looking, you know, kind of positioning wise, rotation wise already. Just initially, a lot of aggressive challenges we're seeing out in front from Bruton Parker. And that speed may be a big factor later, but we'll see. It's only the first 30 seconds. Yeah, it's definitely a, a nice little early game warm up as I like to say, right? It's kind of like that feeler to see how well people are going to do early on. And I think it's safe to say Bruton Parker want to come out swinging Antex with the pass over to Manny and just slots that one right in. I like the pass. The pass was great. Manny, though, rotates back, cuts off the rotation, says, give me that. Great speed and beautiful shot to start Bruton Parker off. Yeah, that one, nice, clean, straight to the point. Now, Bruton Parker, they get that early game lead. It's a matter of how is Rochester going to respond. Is it going to be quickly? Sky is going to take this one to the backboard. No connection on the double. Knight couldn't follow it up either. Maybe three times is the charm on this one. And nobody from Rochester seemingly finding an easy way in at the least. Yeah, it seems like they got to work, but also you got to keep an eye out on the mechs here from the side of Rochester. We've seen opportunities for some doubles. We've definitely seen a little bit of communication where players are calling each other off. But when you are on the ball moving up field, you know, especially trying to score when you're down by one, you need to be efficient. So keep eyes on those boost meters and seeing exactly who can do what. Right now, though, Broom Parker maintaining the pace, but there's playing a lot of defense here as Luca tries to see if he can break in. Nice clear off the backboard. It's going to be a slow one. Knight able to send it upfield over to Luca. Luca is going to take his time. Back pass over to Knight. Antics had it red, though. Sends it the other way. And the counterattack begins for Bruton Parker. Thankfully, all three defenders from Rochester just line up perfectly on that one. Keep it on out. Manny's going to try and give this one over to his teammate there. Soul couldn't quite find his way in. And instead, it's Knight trying to break away past one. But Manny's got him red. This is really interesting. I'm slightly concerned on the side of Rochester. Bruton Parker, though, they're in trouble right now. Good touch from Antis to clear it out, but we're seeing some really jumbled defense on the orange side. They got to really get things together. We're almost at that halfway point, and at least statistic-wise, it's only been Luka. Four shots from him, Skies with one, and that's it. And they've come up short every time. Yeah, it's not been the cleanest. Again, though, these, these game ones are kind of the feeler. They're probably a little bit of first day jitters on the field so I try not to take that first game a little too lightly but realistically it should be serious the whole way through and Manny seriously wants to get a second goal for his team there Antex tried to follow up his shot nothing to be found no boost in the tank but somehow this ball still finding its way to the net it's a clear though from Rochester Ooh. that might give them some hope here in this last two minutes and that touch that was that's tough. It starts here though. <laughs> Manny, he had that full boost on the corner and just moved a little too fast. And then he got that touch backwards. Antics was in a very uncomfortable spot. And you saw Rochester took full advantage of the opportunities. Even though we gave Manny praise earlier for being super fast and rotating well, he has to make sure not to get too jittery, making sure he gets the right challenges in his position properly. Otherwise, you see more mistakes like that and they could potentially drop this game. Oh, there you go, though. Right back in it. Manny scores. Second goal for him. Second goal for Bruce Parker. I liked this one. So Antex sent it up after the demo had come through. But Manny, fully ready to read it. All three players, I believe, on Rochester had gone for that ball. So it was pretty easy to find a, some form of an open space to place that one through. So for now, it's an up by one. But now it's an up by two. Manny giving Bruton. 
Parker, the true lead extension. I mean, Luca goes for the cheat, Manny, a soft cheat, gets the, gets the flip. Once he has the flip, last defender is scared. He doesn't know if he's gonna activate the flip immediately or not. Manny didn't really get the best flip reset, but he pulled the defender out of the net. That's exactly what you wanna do there. All right, less than two minutes. Rochester went from needing to respond to one goal now to two, just to tie things up. Maybe this could be an answer. Ball stays out though. Wide shot, nice and slow there. Easy for Sold to try and collect, but Luca sent it back. This one just keeps going side to side across that net, but you guys need to center it for each other. Yeah, we haven't really necessarily seen too much of that, like you said, that centering, that, that playing together. It does feel like you're starting to see a little bit of desperation, even with the first touches on the ball on the side of Rochester. They seem to be just giving away possession and then playing catch up, even though they're the ones with the initial start there. A little bit more control would be nice to see out of them. They've got about a minute to go. Not impossible, but the way things are looking, Bruton Parker are in full control. I absolutely agree on that. I feel like Bruton Parker is doing a great job at least controlling, obviously, the offense right now, right? Whatever pace of play they're wanting, they're doing it. But Skies has a breakaway opportunity, so it's going to be back in time. Low boost also makes it a little bit easier for Bruton Parker to defend. But Rochester defensively haven't been having a bad game by any means. But it's like you said, you can almost feel the desperation in the attempts to try and get some shots. And I feel like realistically, you're just gonna have to resettle, regain and work together. That's the biggest thing. It feels very, very disconnected on the end of Rochester. Yeah, and that disconnection kind of comes into the second man challenges as well. Second man might just be in an uncomfortable spot, has to reposition, and you have to hope the guy that's in the third spot is just in the right spot to be able to play the ball forward. Sometimes he's just being reactionary. And speaking of reactionary, reaction is probably good on the Bruton Parker side at this point. Five seconds to go. Game one. Seems like it'll end 3-1 at this point. Ball will hit the ground, and Bruton Parker will start us off with the first game win. I mean, that's a great way to start it off, right? They looked incredible. It was a little bit slow at the start, but towards the end, that was a thousand percent Bruton Parker's game there, right? You said it best. They had all the control on the field. And it's not that Rochester played like an incredibly bad game. I don't want to like feel like I'm like harping on them because defensively, they looked great. But it's like what we were saying time and time again, right? They looked really disconnected on the offensive front. There wasn't a lot of, you know, passing plays that were going on in their favor. At least that's what we saw in the end of Britain Parker. They had it on lock. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I feel like for Bruden Parker, there are some slight concerns, right? Manny being the, the leader here, he had a great game as we're taking a look at his highlights. He scored every single goal shot, three for five, which is great. The question is, though, it's a best of five. Can you continue to do that over the course of this series? On the side of Rochester, you have to think, okay, we saw some little glimpses here from Skies, but not really the best overall performance. If Skies can level up and you really start to feel comfortable mechanically on the field, things can probably change from Rochester. I think the disconnect does still come in, times, in terms of the rotation, but I think it, it starts with Skies. If Skies is on, then everything else will just connect. Yeah, I, you definitely have to have that one player that can kind of IGL a team into raising the bar for themselves collectively, and I think Skies would be a perfect fit for it. But realistically, number two, this is a massive swing game as well, right? I feel like game two, if you can't quite get it back together, it almost feels like it's all lost, not just because it would be match point, but realistically, that is a hard shift in mentality to try and come back from. Yeah, so now we're game two underway. Just taking a look here at the side of Rochester. What are they gonna bring to the table? Right now, they're moving downfield. Here's a free ball, infield pass. Oh, nice, just a high shot there. Was looking for the top left corner. They're trying to see if they can keep this ball in play, but that was a prime opportunity for Rochester to get one early. Oh, there was another one. Knight just kind of, his car was just flailing behind the ball, and unfortunately, that opportunity went wayside as well. Knight's gonna try and send this one up towards the bar. It goes out, and it's Rochester, although, they haven't found anything. They look so much better. There's at least coming in a lot more aggressively. The follow-ups are so much quicker as well, which definitely is going to increase your chances of finding anything. And the passing plays, there's been so many more in such a short period of time versus game one. 
Yes, more shots have been great. More offensive possession has been great. Just got to shoot a little lower. The net is not that tall, guys. That's the biggest problem here. As again, another shot high. Follow-up chance. Bang for Manny. He picks up another goal. So far, the sole score for Bruton Parker. I love this. The redirect to the ceiling and down, and then Manny just there. That is the optimum of teamwork on a play right here. It was so clean and cohesive. I feel like that's going to be like my word for them in this game. They just work so incredibly well together. And we've seen glimpses of it from Rochester, at least in the early stages of this game. It was a nice demo to open up something, but it's the not being ready for the after that really is hurting Rochester right now. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're sending in a, a lot of resources forward and they haven't necessarily been connecting. I've seen Sky miss, miss that twice now in the last 10 seconds. Just been very rough for Sky to kind of get involved here. Sitting at 22 points currently, so plenty of time in the game. It's nice try there with the shot. Soul though, ready for the save. Skies will try to go again. This guy's going to be able to wrap around the ball. Almost a little cheeky touch there, but again, will be denied. Bruton Parker defensively are just not really up for the games. They're cutting things out very early before it has time to develop. That's a good shot too, but again, Antics so quick to get the block. Oh man, that was a really good pass and play attempt right there. Here's another shot from Luca. Manny sending it out. Manny really just being everywhere all at once. I love that for him. He looks so incredibly confident, but now we got to see, can Rochester be confident? I want to see it from them, especially because we know they have the capability to do so. I kind of agree with Lemon on the sense of like, you want them to have their bounce back, come back moment a little bit. So maybe they can find some things. Skies in the net trying to open up an opportunity for Knight. Nothing is found and this ball gets cleared back into the Rochester half. Rochester. Still trying to see if they can break out, get something here in the offensive front. But again, just really, really just a tough time keeping that ball close, getting some control. That play again off the back wall, but no one's there to meet it. And now they have to take it back from their own end. Meanwhile, the demos are pushing through. Bruton Parker not getting too comfortable, even with a one goal lead. They're looking for more. This ball over in the corner right now. A little touch off of Soul's car, but Skies is gonna try and take advantage. Clears it towards the net. Maybe Knight can find it up in the air. He does. Takes it from the ceiling and down, but Soul right there, ready to collect. Nice challenge. Doesn't get quite the out. This one off the side of Luca's car and just fighting for control on either end of the field for this ball. It just, it's a never ending fight. I'm kind of, this is one of the few times we had seen. Both of these teams fighting for control. It usually feels like it's in one hand or the other. But things are starting to slow down. You can feel the pace of play. Try to get ramped up a little bit on the end of Rochester, but Bruton Parker, I think they want to play the slower game and kind of hold on to that one goal that they've been doing for the past four minutes. I think Rochester likes that, though. I mean, the, the slower the game is, the more time they have. They've been getting, given a lot of space here in the midfield. We hit that final minute. Chance here. Sky's trying to line up the double. Good on Manny to deny. He did have that one pretty accurate. Now Manny would be able to clear that away. Bruton Parker have to control the pace here. Otherwise, Rochester, I can see it, the chance here building for them. Nice big clear there. Wasting precious time that Rochester need. Maybe they can find another goal and just secure the win here. This is going to be an interesting 30 seconds as this ball stays in the Bruton Parker half for now. Oh. Skies no connect on that ball. With 20 seconds left to go, it's up to Skies and to Luca to try and send this one back. But Antics has other plans. A double demo and a shot towards Ooh. the net, even with the save, makes this feel almost impossible. Oh no, communication error, night in skies. They were trying to figure out the best way to play that. Meanwhile, Brood and Parker crashed the net. Now they've got to keep it up. This ball will just go tonight and he can't control it. It was just too far away from him. And Brood and Parker are about to make this a short series if this keeps up. They're on match point after that win. Yeah, they look honestly incredible. I think you couldn't realistically, I mean, maybe just a little bit, but like you couldn't really play a cleaner game right now than how Bruton Parker is. They look 
extremely well together. Even if Manny isn't the one in charge, I love that Antics kind of stepped up a little bit in this one. Offensively, he was taking a lot more shots at it, but defensively, the fact that it is very equal, I feel like plays into their favor because this time Rochester actually outshot them which is really interesting that they were able to have so many more opportunities, but it's like you were saying earlier, the net is not as high as y'all think. Yeah, it it's is not, okay. It's not LeBron, <laughs> okay? Like, it's, it's not that tall. Uh, so, I, I, again, it starts with their first shot opportunity where, again, Skies passed tonight. I think nine sailed, sailed just a little too high. If he puts that just anywhere else and not trying to aim for that top corner, that goes in. Told, we could be in overtime right now. Because my worry for Bruden Parker was something that also kind of came to fruition. Manny, yes, he got three goals the first game. Only, took, only was able to get one shot. He did score it, though. But that offense is not being in the output in the same length. Things are slowing down. He can't consistently output that. So that was a perfect time, like you had said, those game two, swing games. That was a perfect time for Rochester to turn things around. Now their backs are against the wall, and they've got a hill to climb. Yeah, there is a long journey ahead for Rochester to try and attempt a reverse sweep now on a very clean Bruton Parker. Soul's gonna reset to get this one out, but Sky's gonna double it. Couldn't quite make that angle, but that at least was a threatening shot. And Knight's gonna just easily put this one in. Had it read from the sidewall. Nice early game lead there for Rochester. Great demo and great speed. Knight able to get that one through. That's what we wanted to see from Rochester. So they have been building to that point. So really the demo that opens things up and them capitalizing, which has always been a great sign. Yeah, definitely being able to be a little bit more accurate with your follow-ups as well. And again, we said it in games one and two. What were they missing? The pass and plays, the connections, working with each other. It was all missing. At least now there's a little bit of hope for them that it is not impossible for Rochester to have some clean teamwork uh, on the offensive front. But for now, Bruton Parker gonna turn, trying to take a couple shots at the Rochester net. And their positioning is great. I mean, every time the ball's cleared out, there's someone there who wants to take it and use it for a solo. It's just a matter of time though. If Rochester can't get this cleared out, Bruton Parker have everything that they need in order to set them up with a goal scoring opportunity. Manny sitting full boost in midfield. You're gonna see him again, just slow things down. Great touch, able to pull out someone else. And that just buys this team so much more time to rotate into the right spot. Yep, it's exactly. It just giving his team time is so valuable, I think. Especially in a situation like this where it kind of felt like things were getting away for you just for a little bit, but now Antics takes this not past one, not past two, but past all three members of Rochester to break on through and tie things up. Very well done. As well, too, you just you have to understand, I mean, th those bumps coming out really are able to help facilitate a lot as Right now we're sitting here with a tied up game. And we'll see exactly how things start to shift here. This ball's up in the air, gonna bounce down skies, takes a shot at it. Antics tries to get the clear, does get at least to the midfield, but Luca patiently waiting for him out there. And hopefully, I think it's safe to say this is where the aggression is gonna start to come out, especially on the end of Bruton Parker. When you're up by two like that, right? Seeing Rochester have any waves of momentum against you has got to frustrate you enough to at least sit up a little and be ready to demo or bump whoever. You see Antics trying to do it over and over again in the midfield. It, they're just chasing at this point. They are, and that has definitely been something that has been just a... It could be actually an even larger factor here as things continue to go on. I mean, sitting in here at the halfway point, it's so interesting to see things kind of almost flipped on their head. You're starting to see Bruin Parker under so much more pressure. And even though they've been able to get the shots out, these two teams are neck and neck in terms of shots allowed this game. Ooh. So that's it. it so what we're seeing is as the series goes on, it's getting closer and closer. The the lead in control that Bruton Parker had had for so long was almost slipping away because, well, Antics has something to say about it. It was Manny who popped this one up high and Antics just 
able to beat out Knight fast <laughs> enough to take the shot and put it in, and Brute and Parker go back up by one. I'm laughing because Manny just sits still. <laughs> he, pops yeah. the, he pops it up, and he's like, he's got he's it. He's like, I didn't, just if I stay still, he can get over me. <laughs> but he, he, he's got it. I don't, I don't need to move. I love that out of them. But also, uh, Soul is definitely someone that I want to put a little bit of a spotlight on because every time he's off ball has been in the net of Rochester and causing so much havoc, making them uncomfortable. He's part of the reason that shot goes in. Making that back line like have to jump basically puts them in a tough spot and gives Antics more options to shoot at. I absolutely agree. I think that you have to always keep your eye on that third man. And although, yes, we were hyping him up, and unfortunately, Soul, that was not the best time for us to have eyes on you. Congrats tonight for tying things up. But I think going back to what you were saying, yes, what, where Soul's positioning was outside this one moment has been nothing short of incredible and helpful to his roster. But we're back on even playing ground at a minute and 28 seconds, so less then 90 to go. This is kind of the grind time moment because Bruton Parker have the opportunity to end things here. But Rochester, although they have their backs against wow. the wall, they don't seem scared. No, they don't. They, if anything, they they seem hungry. Looking for a chance. Skies, oh, tried to go for a drop down pass. Just shoot it there. That was a big chance. Net was as open as it could be. And now he's going to get it. Good follow-up chance on the opportunity, not letting it go to waste. Rochester regained the lead. I like this one. Lucas bump opened it, and Skies was like, I was curious if he was going to try and go low, and then I loved the little bounce to go just above Soul. Worked out perfectly. Rochester give themselves a lead with just over a minute to go. All right, a minute, a minute remaining. Sorry, I had to look. Chad was talking about sirens. You guys heard it. I didn't even hear it. So you, you guys might be saving me at some point, so I got to be careful. <laughs> but, right, everything's fine over here. Even fine currently for Rochester, but we'll see how things look at this point. They've got a one-goal lead. This can be the first game they take here in this series as long as they continue to keep Bruden Parker on this side of the field. Yeah, here you go. 27 seconds. It, it's all Rochester needs to hold on to to be able to at least give themselves a chance at this reverse sweep. But Bruden Parker is definitely not going to go down without a fight. Antics over one demo play and in and Bruton Parker tie the game up at 15. Look at this beautiful first touch and follow up, I should say, from Antics. Gets past one, gets the bump slash demo as well. Made contact with the ball, but it didn't even take him off course. Still able to score. Such an impact play. That was such an incredible play there. Can they find one more to end it all here? Or are they going to take this to overtime? Manny's going to take the shot. Skies places this one up in the sky. And is Knight going to let it fall? No, he's going to take one last attempt. This one will hit the ground. And we've got more Rocket League coming up. More Rocket League, but for how long? This could be a short OT, all depending. Kickoff, big whiff. Knight just has to put it on target with some speed, but he again shoots it high. Antics able to get the clearance, and here we go. Moving downfield, chance to win it. He's got it. Antics with the finish. Four for five here, and what a performance to take down Bruton Parker in a sweep. That was incredible. That was such a solid last game, especially seeing Rochester actually fight Bruton Parker for that third game win, right? Bruton Parker had to honestly earn it, and I think they did. They looked so, so good, but huge shout out to Antics on that last, that third game for absolutely popping off on it. I, I feel bad for Rochester. They got kind of bullied. Not as bad as I feel for the desk. My goodness, what were they thinking? <laughs> like, are we, are we, can, we, can we talk about that for a second? Because, man, Bruton Parker really made... I mean, this is really a big statement win for them. Not only did Manny have a great performance, but, of course, <clears throat> backs against the walls... Well, not really backs against the wall. Uh, for Rochester, yes. When their backs are against the wall, they start to elevate, which is something we may need to take note of in the future. 
That being said, there's one guy who says he does not care. Antics in traffic, multiple goals, and pretty much just saying for Rochester, there is no hope this game. Of course, great work all over the field from not only just him, but his teammates as well. Sol with some uh, impact performances there with a lot of bumps on the plays. And yes, of course, this is just league, league play week one. There's still so much more to go, but I mean, brilliance on the side of Brew Parker. I love to see it. Yeah, it was such an incredible game. Lots of, lots of, I don't know, the possibilities for this squad. I think you said it best. I think it's something to take note of that Bruton Parker almost thrives under pressure. Even though they had the upper hand in at the end of the series, the fact that they finally had some pressure put on them and they almost played even better than before is a huge statement to have been put out there in the CRL. But uh, yeah. I I don't have much more to say on that one. That's yeah, me neither. I mean, at that point, this one was just a clean cut 3-0 sweep from Bruton Parker. Sometimes you get game fives like we had in earlier today. Sometimes you just get 3-0 sweeps. That being said, CRL never fails to disappoint. And we've got more matches coming up. Don't go anywhere. You won't want to go anywhere.